Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about how much watts a riser uses. We're going to be loading up two cards on one riser cable. So there's one SATA cable plugged into a riser we're running 23080s LHR. Now we're going to see how much watts that uses. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell. Don't forget to go to all their social media accounts like Gab, Part of Their Minds, BitChute, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU, a GPU farm for you, go to CryptoLLC.org. Or if you're looking for someone to manage a, an ASIC farm, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email and we'll get something set up for you. So, here is a riser. These are the risers we use to power all of our GPUs, all of our rigs. This riser got a lot of people talking about that if you were to run it on a SATA, such as this, they can only run one card at a time because it's going to overload the SATA. And people are saying that it's going to use like 100 watts or each card is going to use 75. That means you're going to use about 150 off of the SATA. So in today's video, we're going to prove that that's not true. You do not use 75 watts off of each card. Before I do that, I want to talk about what we actually use at our farm. We use this Malayal, I think it's the name of it, riser. This riser comes with this adapter here you can see the quality of this adapter it's really thick the gauge on the wire is very thick you see how thick it is plugs right into there and delivers a lot of power now it's going to be running off of our EVGA 1600 power supplies well it's 1300 power supplies you can see the gauge on this SATA cord here nice and thick so this is what we're going to use now let's go over and take a look at our miner running right now. So, here's our rig. It uh, has eight GPUs on it. You can see that it locks and unlocks some, you know, LHR and all that stuff. It's, it's running G Miner, the newest version G Miner. And it's running at about 68, 68, 69, 70, you know, 60, uh, you know, and so on. So it's running around there. Sometimes it dips, sometimes it doesn't. You, know, you can see this one's spinning back up. You're getting an average idea of of how much it's doing. Now let's go over to the rig itself. So here's the rig here. This rig, those are those eight cards running. It's been running for about an hour. We have these two cards running off of one SATA cord. This one's plugging into our 850 power supply here. You can see it right there. Plugs in. And that, that's it. That's the only thing this power supply is running. Then we have a watt meter plugged into it. And you can see here, that's how much watts it's using. 76, 77, 75, 78 watts. That means that each riser is using about 38 watts each. They're not using 75 watts each. They're not using 100 watts each and so on. They're using only 38 watts each. So, this setup will never ever burn, all right? I'll give you some more examples here. You see how thick that wire is? If I put my fingers here, it's not even warm, okay? It's not, it's not, you know, before it melts, it has to get hot. And before it gets hot, it has to get warm. They're not even warm, all right? And this is at the connecting point. This is where you would usually have any potential problems is at the connecting point. Same thing over here. If I'm put fingers on this side, they're not even warm. Same thing over here, not even warm. If I follow this cord out all the way to the power supply and I touch it right here, they're not even warm, all right? So, it's not even heating up. So again, a lot of people were talking on YouTube that you're gonna burn the wires. And I just demonstrated that that's impossible. Now, I have a heat gun here. Now I'm gonna show you guys how hot that is. Look how hot that is. It's 65 degrees. All right, that's colder than your room. Right now, you're probably sitting in your room at 72. This cord <coughs> at the connecting point is 65 degrees, all right? It's not gonna melt. Same thing over here, look at this. It's at 70. Now you might say, well, that's because it's an LA chart. Well, let's go to look at some 3090s over here. Let's go over to this side. I have some 3090 gigabyte turbo cards. So these are turbo 3090 gigabyte. Same thing, if I put my finger on it, it's not even warm, it's actually cold. Now I put my gun on it. Again, this is running two cards off of one 
SATA cable, two cards, risers, running 3090s. These 3090s are running at 95% power, which means that they're creating about 118 mega hashes on Ethereum. So they're running at basically full power. And you can see how cold that is. See that? Around 60. Now, let me show you some other cards over here. This is also 3090. You see that? This runs about 60, 65, 70, and so on. Let's go over um, to some non-LHR. Actually, those are, those are non-LHR. All 3090s are non-LHR. But let's go over to some 3080s. These are 3080s non-LHR cards. Same thing, I'm running two, two cards on one SATA. You see this SATA right here coming in? One SATA going into the power supply. One SATA. Let's put our gun on it. Look at that, running at 56 degrees. Let's go over here. 52 degrees. So again, all those people complaining on YouTube, talking about that it overheats, they're just simply wrong. It does not overheat. And again, talking about not only overheating that it's gonna melt, for it to melt, it has to get warm. And for it to get, to get closer to melting, it has to get hot. And then it actually has to get red and start melting the plastic. So you're very, very, very far out from that actually ever happening. And again, let's go back to this watt meter here. Still at about 76 watts. So this is definitive proof that you can run two cards on one SATA. You can run two cards on one SATA, no problem. You can do it for months and months and months. Nothing's ever gonna happen to your cards. If you ever have any doubts, do what I did, plug in a power supply and just run the SATAs off of that one power supply, put a watt meter on there and see what it's doing. All right, well, I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. You're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm such as this one. You see how many GPUs we have here? Slowly gonna fill it out. We're gonna have more GPUs come. We're gonna fill out the top there and have it be fully finished as well as over there. You're looking, looking for someone to manage this for you. We have access to the GPUs. We can buy them in the bulk, hundreds of them. So you don't have to have the problem of actually sourcing them. We source them for you, as well as the motherboards, power supplies, and uh, GPUs all at a very good price. And we manage the whole entire mining operation. If you're not interested in GPUs, we also do ASIC mining. We have access to S19 Pros, S19 XPs, the new ones that just came out. We have, we have access to all of those ASICs and the power and everything. We start off from the ground up and build out the whole entire farm and uh, have it operating for you. So if you're looking for some, for ASIC mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, and we'll get something set up for you. That's going to be it. Until next time. Bye.